There were a lot of emotions about this last night. I was talking to my friend Andy Pollack. I was talking to Ryan Petty. And I could focus on all of these awful things with Scott Israel. I could focus on his corruption. I could focus on, well, play that one audio sound by the if and buts, candy and nuts. I could, I mean, I have a million of these. Listen to this. Do you think that if the Broward Sheriff's Office had done things differently, this shooting might not have happened? Yeah, listen, if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, uh, you know, uh, O.J. Simpson would still be in the record books. I don't know what I that means. There's 17 dead people and there's an, a whole long list of things your department could have done yeah. differently. Yeah, this was after I first questioned him. I want to point that out. I could focus on all of this stuff. I could talk about how he said that he had provided amazing leadership. How he was paying off people who were campaigning for him by trying to get him jobs in his department. I could, I could talk to you about all of the calls that his office ignored. 18 of them specifically warned of the murderer's intentions. Including one call, in spe one call specifically that said that that kid wanted to shoot up a school said that he was a school shooter in the making, specifically called his office and said that. I could talk about how Scott Israel could have taken that murderer into custody before he ever purchased a firearm. So many things. I could focus on all of this. But instead, you know what? I want to congratulate Sheriff Gregory Tony. Scott Israel's surrogates came at this man. They smeared him. They dragged his name through the mud. They did everything possible. Gregory Tony was appointed by Ron DeSantis. The Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Commission concluded that Scott Israel and his policies contributed to this massacre. And that was enough for Governor DeSantis. He's like, we can't do this. It was within his authority to do what he did, and he removed Scott Israel. The uh, state legislature supported it and put Sheriff Tony in his spot. And Sheriff Tony, good to his word, protected and served, and recaptured the faith of the community in that, in that seat and won the primary. The primary is basically the general in this. He took his Gregory Tony takes his job seriously. He maintains training for his deputies and himself. He stops the buck at his desk. He's a Democrat. But he understands protect and serve. And they really came at him to ruin him. I'm going to tell you what. They went after his marriage. They went after everything with this man. But I'm also, it's not just Sheriff Tony that I want to congratulate, but also the folks, as I wrote, who through a very, very cruel twist of fate became very dear friends of my family. And I remember after all of this happened, um, when stuff like this happens, and, and this is, it, it's my job, but this is a job where you don't leave it at the office and turn out the lamp on your cubicle desk and you go home. It is a job where people are, 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 they will forever bind you to what you do and they will try to ruin your life over it. This is an industry unlike any other. And it's not for everybody. And you can't trust most of them, most of the people in it, even if they're on your side. So that's why when this stuff happened, you know, I, my response is shut the doors, kitchen cabinet, lockdown. And it was very interesting when we were there, the, 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 I met some of, the, uh, some of the students, and I talked about this in Grace Canceled. Andy Pollack reached out. Ryan Petty reached out. And they were going through so much, not just losing a child, but having the act of that play out nationally, politically. And these guys, and not just them, but others, like uh, Royer Borges and, and who's the father of Anthony Borges, they got involved and they worked so hard to hold Scott Israel accountable, to hold the superintendent accountable, the school board accountable. 
some of my friends could not take being in that area anymore. It was too heavy. With it, it too, it, the grief was such that they needed to leave. Anthony Borges, I met him a couple of years ago, one of the most courageous young men I've ever met. He was shot as he made his way into a classroom. He shut the door and leaned his entire body against it so that murderer couldn't come in. And he saved, I don't know how many students' lives. And that murderer opened fire on the door, uh, riddling, peppering Anthony's back, and then left. And Anthony's still getting uh, treatment today. And Scott Israel had snuck into his hospital room when he was hooked up to all these machines and surreptitiously took a PR photo, and it enraged his dad. And that's when the Borgias got involved. They fought to hold accountable. What they did is an honor to the memory of all of these amazing souls that were lost. They're, they're the ones who fought for this and many other changes. And that victory last night, it doesn't change the past, but it does so much to prevent it from repeating itself. And I think that they deserve the congratulations and the intention, and God willing, maybe some of the closure. And I hope they get that more than anything.